what what types of advice would you give to first year teachers whether that's your experiences as a first year teacher in illinois or your first year at las vegas high or your first year at green valley what what are what are some seminal pieces of advice that you would give to our listeners for those initial first years of teaching? Right. So my first year in Illinois, I was really fortunate to have an amazing mentor at my school. So it was a middle school that was split into two middle schools. And so I, I'm just going to say it was not a normal first year because I mean, I had help throughout the whole way. So my first and most important piece of advice is to ask for help and not to be afraid to ask questions. I think um, I here in Clark County, I used to do workshops for all the new teachers every at the beginning of the year and understand that we have so many new teachers every year because it's such a big district. And I used to say to them, please don't ever be afraid to call me um, and ask for help or ask a question, and, and that's fine. But, but young people are sometimes afraid that we're gonna realize that they don't know everything. And the honest truth is we don't know everything. And so it takes a really secure human being to ask questions. And so that's the most important thing you can do. And, and to have people come in and help you and, and not be afraid to say, hey, what do you think of this? Or how do you think this is going? Um, yeah, it's, I think that's the most important thing like for first year teachers is to ask for help. And you, so you've kind of mentioned just uh, with everything asking for help, you, you've talked about Frank Wicks already. What, who are some other people in your life who have been those go-to people for you to ask for help? Oh my gosh, there's been so many. So, I mean, that's really hard. So I started in Illinois um, and the other middle school teacher there was Marjean Pappas. Um, she's an amazing educator. She's retired now from Illinois, had wonderful bands. And, um, you know, if I wanted help or didn't want help, she was going to say, hey, Diane, maybe you should think about this you know, or maybe you should think about this, was really very strong. And I watched her. And honestly, to my last year at teaching high school at Green Valley, I still used many of the things that I learned from her. She was wonderful. She's wonderful. She's retired in Arizona and still working with bands here and there. And so, so that's really great. Um, I also had a really crusty old music supervisor when I first started in Las Vegas and he would he was like it was such a long time ago I know people used to smoke like you know um he grew up at University of Michigan he was a drummer and he was coming and he'd say Diane you need to be doing this and this and it was great it was great like I owe him so much he's passed away his name was Fred Steinbaugh but he really helped me so much and and lastly I'm going to say um I in the summertime used to go to conducting workshops all the time. And so for many, many years, I would go to the CBDNA conducting workshop. It was held at University of Colorado. I easily was there five years in a row. But when I had the opportunity to work with great conductors nearby here in California, I would work with Tom Lee, or I'd go up to Colorado and work with Alan McMurray. Um, I, I, I would do um, some internships in the summer at music camps with really fine conductors. Um, Alan McMur I said Alan. But you know, um, I, I just, I think you have to find those people, seek them out. And honestly, here in Nevada, we have two universities. Tom Leslie has a really fine program at UNLV. And so I've been able to go and observe there frequently. And um, uh, Mac McGranahan was at UNR in Reno for 30 years. And I was able to, um, work with him as well. So I feel like you have to go out there and, and make those opportunities. So I've been very, I've been the luckiest human being on the face of the earth to find Las Vegas and to make a life here.